Hey, Robert! Welcome back to my Astro Near Guide series, guys. If you remember the previous episode, we went over making the smelter. Um, real quick, you know, three resin of those macaroni and two of those uh, puffballs. And bam, you have your smelter up and going. Now today, we are going to go over how to get this printer going now. Now obviously we need copper, hence why we want the smelter first. So I've discovered a cave, you know, not too far from here. But I think I'll go over a little bit of the crafting in the backpack as we get started. So in Astroneer, you need to maintain this blue bar, which will be oxygen. Now, obviously, the further I go out, you know, I'm not be I won't be able to attach, as you can see, my little blue little cord there will replenish my oxygen. Oxygen, excuse me. If I go further away, it won't connect. So there's a little tool to help you maintain this. All it takes is those, you know, little um, oh, not even resin. I'm sorry. It takes compound puffballs in order to build them. It takes one. And you can build it right on your backpack, on the go, wherever, you, wherever you're at. So, get into your backpack. And you're going to look for what they call the tether. Again, green is go. So you're ready. You have the, the materials needed to make this. So the tether is going to be able to extend. It's all, Just think of it like a power line, but for oxygen. Now, obviously, when I have it this far out, it's not connected. So you'll see like a little ghost shape, meaning... It's connected and it's gonna fall over and you can place them anywhere you can place them on the walls the ceilings however you want to place it just make sure that it's always connected um, yeah it's real simple so we are going to head down this way because it is quite a ways and then I'll skip through this so you guys don't have to watch me keep placing these tethers you're gonna get the idea basically make sure the tethers are connected you will not suffocate and make sure always when you go down into a cave or an exploration that you keep maybe an extra set so I have a, like an extra set of compound with me just in case I need it because what we're gonna do we're gonna head down in here and we're gonna try to find some copper which will be required for us to make the printer and the only way to get copper is find its ore down in here so, hence why I went with smelter first. So as we make our way down in here, you know, I might as well just go through. So you'll encounter many ores down here. For instance, this this will be for energy. Say you're, you know, you're short on energy, this will replenish it for you. Or if you look on the back of my terraformer, you can see that it's like taking like raw energy. So now I have a raw energy cube. I, you know, say if I'm in like a tight uh, like, I don't know, if any kind of time I need to use energy, that's there to like replenish it instantly. So we're going to make, oh, see just like this, I already need more tethers. Again, we're going to take an extra set with us down there, just in case we need it. I don't think we will. I haven't explored this cave yet, so we're going to find out what's down here. And we'll go over some of the stuff you should avoid while going through the cave as well. Now, you will encounter stuff like this down here. These things will, uh, I guess, like have a poisonous gas that they will shoot at you. So the trick is going to be to detach them from the ground as fast as you can. Let's see if we can terraform this right. And a little thing about the tethers is that they almost look as like a, they work as a, a light source as well. Now see, just like that, it's already and it will follow you. It's already, excuse me, squirting or whatever, blowing poisonous smoke at me already. And it will follow you. And it doesn't look like this cave is too great. I'm not, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. Okay, there's copper over there. So let me just get this tether going so we, we'll avoid those for now. We'll go over those another time. See, just like that, the ghost, it's connected. We're good. Don't have to worry about oxygen. You can run out of power all day. It'll be fine. It'll replenish. So what we're looking for is this over here. This is what you're trying to find for copper. I... <laughs> so I was thinking of copper itself. It's going to say copper. I didn't... I didn't uh, read it fully. And it says copper ore. So I'm looking for this... What do you call it? Malachite? Malachite? Kite? Whatever. Anyway. So I'm actually looking for copper ore. So I've walked past all this, you know, when I first started playing. 
So yeah, it's, it was, again, it was good to know, hence why I say there's a bit of a learning curve with survival. Um, that's why I'm making this guy to help people out. I mean, I have some friends, again, that had no idea. I had no idea. Stand right at, you know, copper ore right in front of my face. And I think we got most of it. This cave isn't too great. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a look and see if there's anything down here. It doesn't look like there's anything. I was hoping that we could find... I'm gonna run down here real quick. Okay, is that... Or is that the Hydra? Whatever they call it. Yeah, it's a Hydra. You don't want that. So I'm also trying to find some aluminum down here. And it doesn't look like I'm... Bear with me. Again, I have... No, don't bug out on me. Again, use those, those tethers as like a light source for you. Because they do come in handy. Is that it? I think this is aluminum. Yep. Again... Uh, I can't print, I can't see it, so... Basically, Lumen's gonna be this, you know, neon, pink, purple, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna grab this as well, so we don't have to make another trip down here. Or I can just edit it out one of the two. So we are gonna grab all this. Or aluminium, whatever they want to call it. Okay, I think I'm, I think I'm full. I don't want to keep... Okay, it is, so we have just enough. Okay. So we got about three stacks of aluminum that we need to refine, and two stacks, two stacks of copper, which is... Oh, there's more over there. Anyway, I'll cut the video here, you know, edit it to where you'll join me back at the base. I don't think you need to see me run all the way back. So see you guys in a few. Okay, so we're now back at base. I didn't want to... You know, have you guys seen me go through all that for nothing? So now we need to refine some copper in order to make the printer. This is why, again, we went for the smelter first because that's the only way to get the printer. So, unless you get a lucky drop, we're going to place two of these in here. Now, I think I believe there's a bug now. If you put, like, three or four, it there's some type of bug. I'm sure they'll fix it by the time, you know, down the road. But apparently if you put three or four stacks, it will basically not return what you put in. Something like that. So we're just going to put two for now. That's all we need. Hopefully it won't bug out. Again, green is go. We have the energy with the solar panel. Now we can refine it. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, see it? Like it, it was supposed to place it there, but it, it didn't. So now we have the two copper which is required to build the printer. Real easy. Just look for the yellow stuff and you're good. Now you don't have to individually put it here like I used to do. All you have to do is make sure you have you know that you have it and just right click or right trigger and it'll instantly go onto it. Green to go. Bam. We have the printer now. But we have no power. <laughs> so, I should be able to create, if you remember in the previous video, how we would do, you know, the whole solar panels. So we have a solar panel that we can make here. Now, should be about, yep, dawn is coming. Oh, there we go. Just like that, I'll have its power. The thing with the printer, it only requires four bars of energy, while what the smelter requires, like, six, seven? What is that? Yeah, anyway. Six, seven, whatever. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do for the, the printer. I can't explain how long I was looking for copper and aluminum, and I was walking right by it. 
I was thinking more like Minecraft that there's the copper ore, there's the um, aluminum ore, but no, it's name different that mal malachite and la anyway, that type of ore. And that's it for the printer. Um, in the next video, we'll go over a little bit of what you can build out of the printer. Um, and we might as well just cover, since we're doing crafting, we might as well cover what's on the backpack as well. So, yeah, it's real simple, real easy. You need three resin to get it going, to extend out, excuse me, extend your platform out. Two, to upgrade it to the module. And then you need to go find that uh, malachite, I can't even pronounce it, the yellow uh, little crystals in the caves. I, I don't know if they can be found on the surface. Um, so get two stacks of that, bring it back to the smelter, smelt it, and then bam, you have your printer. So it's, it's not that hard. It was hard for me when I first had no idea what to do. But anyway, next video we'll go over backpack and also some of the stuff you can make on the printer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, Robert! Thanks again, guys, for tuning in and watching today. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to wreck that subscribe button. It's real easy. My emblem right there in the middle of the screen, hit it, bam, you're subscribed. We have two videos on the screen also right now. We have my most recent upload and a random playlist that I have. Social media is also in the description. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, and even Tumblr. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.